This achievement broke me. I've attempted some difficult achievements, but for the most part was able to finish them within one or two recording sessions. However, I've spent almost two months trying to get this achievement, which is more than all of my previous achievement videos combined. The achievement of course being Evil Incarnate. This requires you to kill all four survivors in a public match with tier 3 Evil Within. Easy enough, right? Wrong. There are a lot of things that can and will go wrong when attempting this challenge. Firstly, just getting to Evil Within 3 takes forever. You'll need to take both of Meyer's iridescent add-ons, and that increases the amount of stock to get Evil Within 3 by 400%, and you'll also move slower. Then you'll need to disregard all social distancing to get the kill prompt to show up, and it's not uncommon to mess it up by basic attacking, especially when a survivor is at a window or pallet. But the most annoying thing is that you can completely counter Tombstone by hopping in a locker, which any survivor with a brain is going to do. And all of these things combined makes my sadness levels rise exponentially. We'll be streaming as this goes up at twitch.tv slash Tony, so come by and hang out. So getting this achievement done is one thing, but imagine doing it twice. What do you mean by that? When I made my first achievement video, there was a bug where you couldn't complete any one that required killing or sacrificing. At the time, I thought the bug was only affecting any merciless challenges. You know, surely the game would be able to recognize four people dying to evil within. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. So yes, not only did I complete the challenge and not get the achievement, but I also had my own mental sanity questioned. However, this attempt only took like three games, so I wasn't too upset and figured I'd just play a few games when the bug was fixed and then get it then. Yeah, I played a few games, and then a few more, and a few more, and after like 40 matches, all I could really say was, fuck. My first attempt at the challenge was in the middle of December. I'm in the Christmas spirit, feeling good, only to quickly realize that this was a massive mistake. I've made a severe and continuous Laps in my judgment. As you know, DBD always has some form of a winter event that happens in December, and one aspect of this particular event were the snowmen. I think the snowmen are great, I even made a few videos messing around with them, but for this achievement they frankly fucking suck. Just like lockers, survivors can hop in and completely eliminate an opportunity to use tombstone. And while survivors didn't take advantage of this every game, when they did it crushed the very being of my soul. I normally record all my games for these videos so I can show little sections of each one, but I honestly just got pissed looking at all the failure in my recordings and I deleted them all, so uh, sorry. With this newfound information about the winter event you'd probably think, okay, Tony's just gonna wait till the event's over to attempt this again. Honey? Nah, I'm just stubborn, so I tried it again like a week and a half later. I did in fact keep these games, so I actually have something to show you. One of the things I struggled with in my first session was what build to go with. I knew I'd need play with your food to make up for the speed decrease from Tuft of Hair and corrupt intervention to stop from getting gen rushed while I was building up stock. But the last two perks I was a little unsure. I eventually settled on this build, which was giving me the most success. Success. Play with your food to get move speed after ending chase with our obsession. Corrupt intervention to block three gens at the start. Nowhere to hide to show auras when we kick a gen. And trail of torment to give us undetectable after kicking a gen. With this build, I could kick a gen while in tier 3 to completely remove my terror radius and see any survivors hiding in the immediate area. <laughs> It started off great. My first match, I got three kills in the first five minutes, only to have the last survivor immediately find the hatch. This is also a pretty common theme with this challenge. To try and combat it, I brought an offering to spawn the hatch at Shack so I could be one step ahead of the game. But it appears I was not the only one who was one step ahead. What if I'm just doing an achievement and you were to be so kind as to let me have this? That's very sad. I still somehow managed to get three kills, so the chance was still there. Maybe they didn't look at the at the uh, offerings I brought in. They looked at the offering that I brought in. I can't live in this world anymore! Next match was interesting. I think one of the survivors actually realized what I was doing and was willing to give their life for the cause, but another survivor wanted nothing more than my pain and suffering. At the end it was them who were victorious because every map has about 485 lockers and they are all within 5 steps of each other. Not gonna lie, this one threw off the mental a little bit and I just played like ass for a few more matches. Then finally, boom, another match with 3 dead. Would this finally be the 4k? Please. <laughs> oh, you can't make this shit up. No, of course it wouldn't, and neither would the next one. Three dead again, but last survivor had too many lockers at their disposal. 
I was pretty checked out at this point, but decided to give her one more go at it. One kill, two kills, three kills, hatch closed. We're in chase and she's not going into a locker? I decided I just needed to get bloodlust and would play around this pallet. <laughs> Yeah, remember how I said you would sometimes basic a tank even when the kill prompt was up? Yeah, I went to bed after this one. I finally used my brain and waited for the winter event to be over, but with new content and holiday stuff going on, I wasn't spending as much time attempting the challenge. A game here, a game there, but again, no success. After about two and a half weeks of not actively trying, I decided it was time to get back to the grindstone. Oh, hello. And it's... Thank you? God, uh, now you've confused me almost immediately, and you promised me you weren't going to do that. I, I appreciate it. Is this, do we have some sort of mutual agreement here? Oh, this is our person we need to get in chase with for our play with your food. Let's get out of chase with him. Hopefully, maybe. Nice. Very cool. Let's go back over to him. I wonder if this, dude, maybe I should leave this Nia for last because she gave me all of that free stock. We just gotta get back into chase with this man. Okay, okay, we're still we're still looking. Okay, we got our third, very epic. You can run through me there. Huge, huge value, honestly. Nope, that's her still. We can kick this actually, getting nowhere to hide value. All right, they're gonna know I have Trail of Torment, but I can see this gamer. I'm gonna leave the Nia, perhaps the value that I need, you know? What is she doing? I don't know what she's doing. What was Elodie doing there? Did this person stay over here who was here, who had done this gen? We can go back and actually kick this jet again and try to get more nowhere to hide value. Because I know someone was somewhat nearby, probably. Okay, I don't see anyone, I don't see anyone. Perhaps they went over to this gen. You just gotta go into it confident, you know? That's the main thing. Go into it with confident, with a, with a good mindset. And from there, you can try to tank on the victories. I hear people on this one. No, it's still freaking her. Where are the other gamers at? I don't need value on these people. I need value on the other, uh, the Rebecca, I believe. Well, I don't know if I'll be able to get it on her. I might actually. It'll be close. What direction she run here? It's literally 99. Rebecca's gotta be through here. I saw her. We gotta get close. We gotta get close to Rebecca. I don't know how saucy she is. She might have some sauce to her. We gotta get her to drop this down. Nice. This eliminates a really good pallet. What are you, you running to give me a little smooch, a little kiss? Yeah, I can deal with that. Nice. That's going to be blocked. You tripping, bro. You tripping. <laughs> Seriously? The kill prompt doesn't happen? Oh, that's so cringe. What do you mean? I was on... Okay. My life is in shambles. This is what I'm talking about. You get times like that, maybe they vault over a pallet. It's just, it's just upsetty spaghetti all around, guys. I'm going to kick this for Trail of Torment, and then hopefully we can sneak up on someone. That's my idea. We'll, we'll look. Perhaps we can catch someone whacking. I can't let you get Hello. <laughs> Thanks, Will. I appreciate it. Hello, gamer. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. Wait, this is huge. We'll take that. Hopefully these guys don't know how to go into lockers. That's my only thing. Perhaps that was a huge play by me. Oh, wait, we see her. Nice. Did they take any add-ons? Bro, if we get the hatch, this could be honestly huge. I would actually scream and jump for joy. Please give me hatch. I've had this happen so many times. Oh no, it's in the back corner over there. No, it's in here. It's in here. Wait, that's huge. That is huge. Let's see if we could see her on a door, maybe. Oh my gosh, please, Tony. Please, Rebecca, actually. I would simply kiss you on the mouth hey yo if you just let me if you let me this one small bit of charity i don't know where she's at she's gonna be hiding I, it's guaranteed almost at this point anytime we're close to victory it's stuff like this i'm never gonna find the the last person i knew she was in here damn it come on perhaps i can get her to wiggle off that's my only chance this is my only chance please please rebecca she's gonna hit a locker there's no shot I don't, I, there's no shot I get her. Come on, seriously? Oh my God, not again. That's so annoying. I can't lie, the adrenaline was fucking pumping near the end of that game. But like so many before, the challenge was thwarted by a survivor hopping in a locker. I was both hopeful and hopeless after this game. You know, one of those so close but so far situations. But we go again. All right, we are on the Ironworks of Misery. It is very hard to stay positive while doing this challenge. Man, 
I've had so many times where I get three people and then the last person just ends up hiding in a locker and I'm unable to get the last one. That is honestly the way more hurting than just getting completely rolled by the by the survivors. Okay, this is my obsession, so that's huge. Get as much stock on her as possible. Get a little moon. Oh, well, fine by me. Oh, I don't have lightboard, but if you would like that, that's fine. We'll keep in a chase with you. Still huge, still huge. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Taking those uh, play with your food stacks as much as possible. You really just have to like try to identify who's the real juicers on the team, right? All right, we can just keep looping around this, you know, maybe. And then just fucking nice, huge. And then we'll run around this way. And she drops it. Boom. And then we get this. Wonderful. And then what we're going to do is kick this. Hopefully get some nowhere to hide trail of torment value. Yeah, we see Ada Wong right here. We just got to see how smart each survivor is. She's looking behind her. So already I feel smart. Smarter than a lot of survivors. Yeah, and she's actually hiding behind this. So that's good to try to block some of the stalk. But I can get most of this. That's still good. And you know, it's whether or not they, like, rush the gens, too. This has been the build that has gotten me the most success, I would say, so far. To where I'm, like, consistently able to kill some people. Wonderful. I'm going to kick this again and see if we see any other auras. We got one right behind here. Hello, gamer. We got to see who looks like maybe they're newish. If you could... If you could isolate the weak link, that's the one you want to save for last, actually. You don't want to go for the people who are absolute god squad gamers right off the get-go. That's fine. Dude, I mean, I don't have Lightborn. They're just not hitting these. All right, we'll have to go for the Fang with the... That is not Fang. This is actually huge. Can I get value here? I'm literally 99. So close, yet so far. Where is Fang mean at? I must pay you a visit. We're gonna hit this. She has distortion. We are not aware of that. Hopefully she's bad. Don't take me to Shack, please. Okay, we're getting rid of a lot of pallets, but I don't know what sec that's gonna do for us. We need more so to like windows are kind of an issue. Alright, we'll do this, hopefully. Okay, she didn't get in the locker. She did not get in the locker. That's huge. If they start getting in the lockers, like, right away, then I get very sad and very sad. <laughs> that's that's about it. Just the very sad. When I've put, like, the fact that I did the challenge already, but when it, when it was bugged out, is the real kick, kick in the keister, you know? I'm just gonna go ahead and kick this gen real quick. I know we see her up there. What if I can run around? Ah, there she is. <laughs> she kind of accepted her fate right there, just gave up. Oh, no. All right, well, I hope they're cool and chill about it. Maybe. You know, maybe some survivors are just like, dang, this challenge really blows, dude. I feel bad for you. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and kick this. I know she wants to give it to me. Maybe. Where's the Yui at? Where's the Yui at? Over here, you say? Do you know where uh, Tan Hill Inn is? Left. Bloody alley's right. Dude, am I actually getting... Wait, is she taking me to her? Am I getting huge value? Wait, don't even tell me about it. Don't tell me about it. No way, Nia. No shot. Please, Nia. Please let me have it. Oh my god, dude. I've hated this so much. Thank you. Thank you, Nia. Dude, the most chill fucking survivors in the history of existence. Oh my god, I I love them. I can, can I can I buy them dinner? Holy fuck. That is insane. We did it. Holy shit. I got to give them What an absolute just fucking Oh my god. Dude, honestly, I, I it's like it's <laughs> it's like a fucking anticlimactic end to the challenge, but for the hell I have gone through, fuck it, dude. I hate this. I I want to cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh. After 50 plus games of playing, we just finally got some people who were like, you know what, buddy? You can have it. And you know what? They can have my children. All right? <laughs> just go ahead. My body is yours. Okay, sorry. That's a little That's a little bit too much, dude. Honestly, I had such high adrenaline too from the last match of potentially getting it on my first one back on. You know, I was like, oh my god, as soon as it ended, I was like, this is gonna be the worst, but thank you. There's good people out there dead by daylight. If anyone says dead by daylight's a toxic place, you look at that thing right there. Holy crap. GG's.
Never in my wildest dreams would I have expected survivors to actually allow me to get tombstone kills. Yeah, I might have to buy a lottery ticket after this one. Obviously, I would have liked to get the achievement in a quote-unquote normal game, but after the amount of stress this shit gave me, I was gonna take anything I could get. So, shouts out to those gamers, they are the true MVPs. And with that, we have another achievement in the books. I know the next one that I want to complete, but it might take a while, but you know, I may be persuaded to grind it out if you dropped a like on the video. Let me know in the comments what the most difficult achievement has been for you so far, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Thank you guys so much for continuing to support me, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.